What's good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back, SCG, with another GTA 5 online video for you. Now, this is basically a part two to the two person gift cards to friends. So, if you just saw the video I just posted not too long ago, that shows you how to do the two person gift cards to friends. I'm going to do a brief rundown of it here once again, but the main purpose of this video is to show you how to flip your RCVs, Turner Bogs, any of your special vehicles, and so on using the two person gift cards to friends. All right. So this barrage behind me is the one that I just got in the last video from my friend. And this is the Chernobog that I want to go ahead and flip, okay? So this is a nice 3D Chernobog. I want to go ahead and redo my old one that unfortunately had a pearlescent, all right? So I'm going to use this one as a new donor, basically, in a sense, to flip onto a new one, okay? So the actual donor car I'm using is the barrage, okay? So this barrage is set up exactly how I want it. It's got my colored headlights. It's got my liveries. Um, you know, it's got everything I need to more or less merge over to that Chernobog, all right? So it's very important that you have everything set up on that vehicle before you go ahead and start the glitch. Now, it also has to be on your magic spot, of course, too, okay? So make sure it is on your magic spot. Now, you're going to glitch out just like you did before. So for this, um, your friend can go ahead and do a job if they want to do. They can do any of the quick jobs and then just go ahead and wait till it populates. You can do the CEO method to glitch out. Um, you can do the Gerald mission and so on. So I'm going to glitch out solo like I did in my previous video. So this is just the same gameplay from before. So if you want to wait until it says populating, join your friend once you've been frozen behind the MOC. You can go ahead and join them, accept the alerts, and it'll take you up into the clouds and so on. So the glitch now part's the exact same, okay? So if you haven't watched the previous video yet, make sure you go back and watch that. I obviously go back into it more detailed. So either that method or you can go into the MOC, send your friend an invite, and then start up a Gerald mission. Um, or, like I said, I like to glitch out solo. So I have my friend actually go into their MOC, send me the invite to the actual MOC, and then I start up one of the bunker missions through the TV in the actual back of the MOC. All right, so you can just go ahead and launch up any one of these missions. doesn't matter. Uh, for me, with the two PlayStations but one TV, this is nice because I can just go ahead and get him set up, and then I can go back to my other PlayStation and do the rest solo, okay? So however you want to glitch out, doesn't matter. But once you've gone out and glitched out, you're pretty much ready to start the glitch. So I'm just going to glitch out here quickly, so I'm going to hit right on the D-pad. I'm going to go ahead and join my friend that's in the job, and I'm just going to spam through the alerts. It'll take me up in the clouds and bring me back down, okay? So again, however you do that, that's up to you, but now I am glitched out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this barrage, I'm just going to pull it over here closer to the bunker, okay? Now at this point, I'm ready to take the Chernobog. So I'm going to go in and get into the Chernobog. I've got that invite from my friend, okay? I usually like to prime the job first, so I'll go ahead and double tap and join my friend and then just decline the alert just so that it doesn't take too long to get session details. Then once I'm ready, I'm going to pull up the invite in my phone on the very last alert double tap my PlayStation button, and then I'm going to go ahead and accept the join, join the MOC, and the two other options there to join as well. So pull up the phone, double tap, join my friend, and then just join, 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 just stamp bam it like three or four times. Now at this point, you're going to have the Chernobog in the back of your MOC. You can either walk outside of the bunker, or what I like to do is get an invite from my friend back to the MOC, so it kind of more or less just teleports me back outside. This may be necessary as well because as you know with these larger vehicles, they sometimes kick you into the black abyss outside the MOC. So if that happens, you can also get the invite and then just go back into the barrage that is still on the map, okay? Now, if it's not on the map, all your friend has to do that was in the back of the MOC that's giving you the vehicle, they just want to actually step outside. Once they step outside, 100% that barrage will respawn on the map, okay? Now get into it, the plate's going to change, we're going to drive it into our bunker, and now this is where we're going to do the merge, okay? So if you've seen my old videos, you know this part. What you're going to do is you're going to double tap your PlayStation button and get ready to disconnect your internet, okay? So you're going to hit right on the D-pad, it's going to give us the animation to drive in, but let's just make sure we do have this set up first, okay? So double tap so that we've got this ready to check, and then we're going to double, plaque, double tap back to the game. We're going to hit right on the D-pad. We're going to get this animation. Now as soon as you see yourself get out of the barrage or the loading turns to orange, either one, double tap quickly, 
and then disconnect the internet. So just check that box, wait a couple seconds, and then check it again. Double tap, go back to GTA, and now it's going to put you into story mode. Okay, so it's going to give you an alert saying that you disconnected. That's fine. Just accept the alert. It's going to take you back to story, just like any other flip. And then all we want to do from there is go ahead and start up a new invite-only session or join our friend back, either way. All right, so I actually went into a private session, and then I accepted my friend's alert um, by accident because I was running through the facility, and then it threw me into a new session. But you'll get the idea here. Eventually, we'll get into a new session. And then when we do, the vehicle that we've just now flipped, that Chernobog, is going to be in the back of the MOC. So all we need to do is request it. Now remember, this is still on our magic spot, so we do need to give it back to our friend, okay? So, or you have to find a way to duplicate it. Um, but the problem with the duplication glitches is with these larger vehicles, it's pretty much impossible because you can't drive them in the bunker and things like that. So I recommend do this with a friend. He can flip one for you, and then you can do you know, repay the favor and flip one for him, okay? So however you guys want to set it up, but you do have to remember, obviously, to take it off your magic spot once you have flipped it. All right, well, that went pretty quick. I hope you guys got it. But more or less, you're going to take the vehicle that you want to use as a donor onto your magic spot, like I showed you in the first video. You're going to glitch out just like normal. You're going to take that Chernobog, get back into the original vehicle on the map, drive it in, and disconnect as you're going into the MOC. And then go ahead and give it back to yourself or back to your friend, I should say. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. This is your boy, SCG, and I do have one more video uh, coming out to you very soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, I'm out.